With inductive automation's ignition edge pre-installed on the Groove Epic, you now have many more options for connecting to popular PLCs. In this video, I'll walk you through setting up Ignition Edge for the first time. I'll cover starting Ignition Edge from Groove Manage, logging into Ignition Edge and changing the default username and password, how to apply the license key, and lastly, how to activate the two included modules. Now, if you haven't purchased any licenses yet, you can run Ignition Edge in trial mode for two hours at a time. Groove View allows you to connect to OPC UA servers, including the OPC UA server built into Ignition Edge. Inductive Automation's Ignition Edge license activates Ignition Edge in the Groove Epic and includes drivers to Allen Bradley, Siemens, Modbus, Groove Epic, and Snappack. You may purchase your Ignition Edge license from Opto22 by presenting the part number on the screen. OK, let's log into our Groove Epic. Open a web browser and navigate to your Groove Epic by typing https colon slash slash the hostname or IP address. Log in with your Groove Manage username and password. Now click on the Ignition Edge menu option. This overview page will show you if Ignition Edge is running and if the Ignition Designer option is enabled. If this is your first time here, go ahead and select the switch to enable and run Ignition Edge at startup. Now don't forget to click the Save option up the top corner. Click Open Ignition Edge to launch the gateway. Go ahead and accept the warnings. It's going to take a moment for the gateway to start up the very first time. And now let's log in with the default username and password of admin and password. The very first thing you should do is change these by clicking on configure, then under security on the left, click on users, roles, Click on Manage Users and then Edit. Go ahead and change the username. Check this box and type in the password twice. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click Save. OK, now let's log out and log back in with this new username and password. OK, great. Now we can apply our license. Click on the large Activate button on the upper right. If the Groove Epic has access to the internet, then you simply click on Activate Online, enter your key, and click Activate, and we're done. If your Groove Epic doesn't have access to the internet, then click on No Internet Connection and follow the three steps outlined on this page. Basically, what you're going to need to do is download the offline activation request file, transfer that file to a computer that does have internet connectivity, and then upload it to the URL shown. Save the returned license file onto the computer, and then upload it to your Groove Epic. Now, it's really important to note that before you update your Groove Epic firmware, or if you need to reset your Epic back to factory defaults, you should first unactivate your license so that you can reactivate it after the update or the reset. You should also unactivate your license first if you intend on moving it to another Groove Epic. By unactivating and then reactivating, you avoid having to contact Inductive to have the license reinstated. To unactivate, you simply click on the trash can icon here and then click Yes to unactivate. Now, the last thing to do is unquarantine the two modules that are included with Ignition Edge, which are the Sirius Link MQTT module and the Opto22 Groove Epic Snap Pack driver. To activate these two, click on Configure up at the top, then Modules on the side under System. 
scroll all the way down till you see the two modules on the bottom of the list. Click on the Install button next to the module that you want to add. Then confirm when asked. Scroll down and accept the license agreement. Check the box that you accept the security certificate and you're done. Go back and follow the same process for the other module. So that's it. Your Groove Epic is now fully set up with Ignition Edge. Check out training.opto22.com for other videos that show you how to connect your Groove Epic to an Allen Bradley PLC and display its data on your mobile ready Groove View screens, or how to send your data to an MQTT broker. Till next time, cheers mate.